This is Sharon E. Ballon, Kia Shani, and Eileen Dempsey, reporting live from the RTE News Studio. Over the last few years, builders and engineers have been installing new sewage treatment plants all over Ireland. We've sent our reporters down to Timberley County Court to interview workers, builders, engineers, and also local people on how the new sewage plant is affecting their daily lives. This plant is scheduled to be completed in November 2019. Hi, I'm Tracy Manning here and the engineers meeting in Timberley. We are now going to go through the plants with the engineers. Hello, my name is Stephen McCormack and this is the Timberley Corbettary Sewage Scheme Plant. Here is the overflow to help with any leakage and here is the trash where it can sort through the dirty water. Then air will be added and some will go up to the scum and some will go down to the primary clarifier. This cleans the water. Air will be at, more air will be added to the aeration and it will go through some more pipes and tubes to the secondary clarifier which will clean the water even more. Then it will go down to the sludge digester where it will be turned into sludge. Then the dryer will dry it out for the dry sludge finishing. That's my plan, thank you very much. Hello, my name is Donald Old from the and this is my uh, sewage treatment process. So this is a residential wastewater house and these are two sewers coming out of it. And then this is the industrial based water building where all the wastewater goes and then there's more two sewers coming out of that. And then underneath the wall then there's no more two sewers and they're combining and then all the sewers will combine and they'll go into the combined sewer flow into the sea. But some of the water will still go, not all of it will go, only some, and the rest of it will go to the treatment facility where the water will get treated and the treated water will then go into the combined sewer flow in the sea as well. Thank you very much. With engineers Susan O'Brien and some construction workers. Susan, what stage are you at now? Well, we've put down the pipes and we've started the primary clarifier. Can you tell me exactly what the primary clarifier does? Well, the primary clarifier takes the solids out of the water and the secondary clarifier cleans it even more. Can you show us your plan? We have an emergency generator in case of any blackout. Uh, we've got a ballroom, a primary clarifier, secondary clarifier, and we've got four more. We've got our digesters and we've got our liquid chlorine. That's very, they're very small, but they do a big job. And we've got our aeration basins, they're very important. I'm here with local owner of Foley Centre, Jennifer Foley, a worker at Marie Collins. Is your stuff being delivered on time? Yeah, it's on time, but sometimes the lorries find it difficult to turn. Do you think you're bringing a little bit more than usual? Yeah, there's obviously less tourists coming, but increased tourism and products. Do you find it difficult to go to work? Yes. Sometimes I have to take a longer route to avoid the roadwork. I am here with the local TV, Jim Daly. Hello Jim, are you happy about the new sewage treatment plant? Oh yes, I'm delighted that the, that the village is doing something about the sewage. Have you been to any of the meetings held? Oh yes, I find them very interesting. I was at one last Monday. Thanks Jim, over to you Patrick. I'm now with Principal and Vice Principal of Tim League National School. How do you feel about the work going on just outside your school? The noise can be a bit interrupting, however, I'm all for the sewage treatment plant as we are a green school. Does it delay any of the children on their journey to school? Yes, the bus has to leave a bit earlier. And some children get delayed by the traffic lights. That's all for tonight's news. Good night.